it's very odd about this Parandor situation. Do you see why I lose patience? Yeah, it, it, it was the ones I'd taken out, the, like, yeah. the old ones.
that's fine. You're right, Roger. Yes, I'm suddenly found the glory in my step out all ready. It's clear. Was it? Yeah, I found it now. It's just probably out of the boat of air. I wasn't quite expecting to see it, so I wasn't having a day. Just throw it in the dust. Unless somebody, well, no, someone wouldn't have dusted the organ.
just have put because I've put little stars on from the list. time. It doesn't always come to this one. During the psalm? Yes. Just that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it's, um, if you stand, it, it, it's enough. It's plenty. Yeah, but I can't stand there. So I'm going to have to oh, stand up here. Yeah. Don't worry, it'll be on because I'm doing the first one. So no, no, if it's not on, I'll turn Are it you on. Do, yeah, who's doing the first reading? Because they need to turn it on anyway. Um, I'll ask. Thank 
closer it was going to see us through. Can you engage with that? There are facts turn out at quite a large time. Um, it was fine, it was echoed into the yeah. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah, Rory, um, not Rory, Niall said to me when I was practicing the exalter, he says, um, Um, not in an acoustic like this, you don't. No, that's true. Oh, the servant doesn't. No. Which one? In the microphone. The appropriate case of doing it, yeah. No, but um, for the... For the, the mood. So. Yeah. yeah. Sylvia, I gather you're doing the first reading of the vigil. Yes. Can you make sure that you turn on the light? Right. So, first of all, so you can see it. Yes. But yes. so everyone else can as well. Right. Okay. Is that all right? And leave it on. Yes, yes. please. Okay. Sorry? Mm -hmm. uh, who I do. Prayers? You read all those. Yeah. So, because it's a vigil, so you have a reading, a prayer, and then a reading, a psalm, a silence, and then prayer. That's fine. We stand. Um, if you go to your normal place. Okay.
check with it fits. I haven't touched it. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathering outside to begin the service with the blessing of the Holy Fire. If you feel you'd rather not be walking around in the dark and want to stay where you are, that's perfectly fine. You'll just miss the beginning of the service.
Dear friends in Christ, we have begun our solemn vigil. Let us now listen attentively to the word of God, recalling how he saved his people throughout history and in the fullness of time sent his own son to be our redeemer. Through this Easter celebration, may God bring to perfection the saving work he has begun in us. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he had created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of the heaven, and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the trees with seed bearing fruit. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew all the face of the earth. Send, Send forth, forth your, your spirit, spirit, O Lord, and renew all the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul, Lord God, how great thou art clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew all the face of the earth. You founded the earth on its base, to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The water stood higher than the mountains. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From their branches they sing their song. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. From your gelling you water the hills, earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle, and the plants to serve men's needs. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. How many are your works, O Lord, in which 
wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Bless the Lord my soul. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you created all things in wonderful beauty and order. Help us now to perceive how still more wonderful is the new creation by which in the fullness of time you redeemed your people through the sacrifice of your Passover. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me so? Tell the sons of Israel to march on. For yourself, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and part it for the sons of Israel to walk through the sea on dry ground. I, for my part, will make the heart of the Egyptians so stubborn that they will follow them. So shall I win myself glory at the expense of Pharaoh, of all his army, his chariots, his horsemen. And when I have won glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, the Egyptians will learn that I am the Lord. Then the angel of the Lord who marched at the front of the army of Israel, changed station and moved to their rear. The pillar of cloud changed station from the front to the rear of them and remained there. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. The cloud was dark and the night passed without the armies drawing any closer the whole night long. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove back the sea with a strong easterly wind all night, and he made dry land of the sea. Waters parted, and the sons of Israel went on dry ground right into the sea. Walls of water to the right, and to the left of them. The Egyptians gave chase. After them they went right into the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. In the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians from the pillar of fire and from the cloud, and threw the army into confusion. He so clogged their chariot wheels that they could scarcely make headway. <clears throat> Let us flee from the Israelites, the Egyptians cried. The Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Stretch out your hand over the sea, the Lord said to Moses, that the waters may flow back on the Egyptians and their chariots and their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as day broke, the sea returned to its bed. The fleeing Egyptians marched right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the very middle of the sea. The returning waters overwhelmed the chariots 
and the horsemen of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left. But the sons of Israel had marched through the sea on dry ground, walls of water to the right and to the left of them. That day the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed the great act that the Lord had performed against the Egyptians, and the people venerated the Lord, and they put their faith in the Lord and in Moses, his servant. It was then that Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song in honour of the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. I, I will sing, sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. My strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God, and I extol him. My Father's God, and I give him praise. I, I will sing, sing to the Lord. Glorious is triumph. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord his name, the chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea, the flower of his army is drowned in the sea, the deeps hide them, they sank like a stone. I, I will sing to the Lord, glorious his of your glory, you crush the foe. I, I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. You will lead them and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. I, I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Let us pray. Father, even today we see the wonders of the miracles you worked long ago. You once saved a single nation from slavery, and now you offer that salvation to all through baptism. May the peoples of the world become the children of Abraham and prove worthy of the heritage of Israel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O come to the water, all you who are thirsty, though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money, and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, listen, and your soul will live. With you, I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favours promised to David. See, I have made of you a witness to the peoples, a leader and a master of the nations. See, you will summon a nation you never knew. Those unknown will come hurrying to you for the sake of the Lord your God, of the Holy One of Israel, who will glorify you. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Let the wicked man abandon his way, the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn back to the Lord, who will take pity on him, to our God, who is rich in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above the earth as my ways are above your ways, my thoughts above your thoughts. Yes, as the sun and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating. So the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Truly God is my salvation. I trust I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my savior. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing a psalm to the Lord for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, only hope of the world, by the preaching of the prophets, 
you proclaim the mysteries we are celebrating tonight. Help us to be your faithful people, for it is by your inspiration alone that we grow in goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, the members of the house of Israel used to live in their own land, but they defiled it by their conduct and actions. I then discharged my fury at them because of the blood they shed in their land, the idols with which they defiled it. I scattered them among the nations and dispersed them in foreign countries. I sentenced them as their conduct and actions deserved. And now they have profaned my holy name among the nations where they have gone, so that people say of them, these are the people of the Lord. They have been exiled from his land. But I have been concerned about my holy name, which the house of Israel has profaned among the nations where they have gone. And so, say to the house of Israel, the Lord says this, I am not doing this for your sake, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you have gone. I mean to display the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned among them. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord. It is the Lord who speaks when I display my holiness for your sake before their eyes. Then I am going to take you from among the nations and gather you together from all the foreign countries and bring you home to your own land. I shall pour clean water over you and you shall be cleansed. I shall cleanse you of all your defilement and all your idols. I shall give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I shall remove the heart of stone from your bodies and give you a heart of flesh instead. I shall put my spirit in you and make you keep my laws and sincerely respect my observances. You will live in the land which I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people and I will be your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Who send forth your light and your truth? Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your Let us pray. O oh, the unchanging power and light, look with mercy and favour on your entire church. Bring lasting salvation to humankind so that the world may see the fallen lifted up, the old made new, and all things brought to perfection. Through him who is their origin, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory 
Let us pray. Lord God, you have brightened this night with the radiance of the risen Christ. Quicken the spirit of worship in your church. Renew us in mind and body to give you wholehearted service. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Church at Rome. You have been taught that when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in the resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died, once for all, to sin. So his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless my hymns on the Lord.
I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. In many countries throughout the world, when you greet somebody on Easter Day, whether you do so in church or in the marketplace or just getting up in the morning, those are the words you hear. And I remember when I was training um, for the priesthood in Oxford that I went to the Greek Orthodox Church for their Easter, which is generally conveniently a week after ours, which means you can do both. And as the light was being passed around the church, very similarly to the way we pass light around our church during this vigil mass, so you could hear the words being whispered, Christos en este, eleitos en este, Christos en este, eleitos en este. Christ is risen, he is truly risen. And as it was said, it got louder and louder and louder until like a seashore of a wave crashing, Finally, there was the great Christos Aneste, and everybody replied, Eletos Aneste. The heart of being a Christian, the heart of our faith, is, of course, the love of God, and it is revealed to us in the resurrection. The resurrection isn't a story that tells us like a fairy tale about a happy ending, but rather it is a story that tells us about the truth of who we are and how we are. It is not a story that has ended, but continues in the life of every Christian until the prusia, that is, until we all gather together with Christ on that final day in the glory of heaven. This is a story that is told in the simple and in the extravagant. It is told with laughter and with sorrow. It is told by those who have little understanding but know it to be true, and those who have maybe too much understanding and are full of doubts. It is told by those infants that come to baptism week by week in the coming weeks in this church and throughout the world. It is told in the story of the love of a grandmother for her grandchild, the grandfather for his grandchildren, and indeed it is told again and again in every human situation. It is told in church, in the sacraments, in mass. It is told out of church, in our workplaces, and in our places of leisure, in our homes, and indeed it is to be told at the rising and the setting of the sun. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. It is a remarkable thing that God's love is so deep for each and every single one of us that he was able to send his son into the world, that he was able to offer himself into that place where there is darkness and hatred, on Holy Saturday, we believe that not only had Christ endured on Good Friday all that humanity could throw at him, but having died, he descended into the depths of hell, being able to bring the good news of the love of God to all who had come before him, crying out with a loud voice to empty out all those places of despair, and sorrow. For this isn't just a story about us, about human beings of our time. It is a story about humanity in all time. It is the story, as we heard in our vigil today, of the saving works of God from the beginning of creation through all the various acts of God's love until Christ Jesus himself. And it is a story that has been handed to us to hand on. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. 
There are, of course, times when we find in our own lives and in the lives of the world around us all sorts of questions which challenge our understanding and our faith. And God does not expect us to turn our brains off. Rather, what he wants us to do is make sure that our hearts are always filled with love, a love which is able to recognize the saving power of God in Christ Jesus, even in the depths of the darkness of the cross and the many crosses each of us bear in our souls, in our bodies, in our hearts. There are, of course, many challenges to our faith, and we live in a world which is very good at asking us to come away, come away from the worship of God, come away from the love of God, come away. And yet we know as we gather here, having heard the story of salvation through our vigil readings and psalmody, and as we look forward to the renewal of this church through the blessing of the font and through the breaking of bread and the sharing of wine, so that once more this church is filled with the glory of the Lord as the light filled this building as we brought the Paschal candle in. We know, each of us knows, that we are called to that love. And whether we find ourselves rejoicing or whether we find ourselves weeping, whether we are tired or whether we are energized, Each of us is called to keep the love in our hearts. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Dear friends in Christ, we come now to the blessing of the font, and I would ask you if you are able to please stand to turn to the back of church. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Pray for us to the Lord our God. Pray for us to the Lord our God. Holy Mary, Mother of God. St. Michael and holy angels of God, Abraham, our father in faith, David, leader of God's people, St. Joseph and all holy fathers and prophets. Pray for us to the Lord our God. Witnesses of the risen Christ, St. Peter and St. Paul, St. Andrew, St. John, St. Stephen, St. Matthias, St. Barnabas, St. Matthew, St. Mark, St. Luke, Apostles of the Lord, pray for us to the Lord our God. Martyrs of all ages and witnesses to Christ, St. Ignatius, St. Lawrence, St. Peter Chanel, St. Paul Mickey, St. Charles Luanga, St. Maximilian Colby, St. Clement, martyrs of all ages. Pray for us to the Lord our God. All 
holy men and women, saints of God whose lives have witnessed to the risen Christ, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Perpetuo and St. Felicity, St. Teresa, St. Richard of Chichester, St. Augustine, St. Benedict, St. Francis and St. Clare, St. Dominic, St. John Vianney, all holy men and women. Pray for us to love the Lord our God. Spare your people, Lord, we pray. Spare your people, Lord, we pray. Lord, be merciful from all evil from every sin, from everlasting death. Spare your people, Lord, we pray. By your coming among us, sharing our life, by your suffering and cross, by your death and rising to new life, by your returning glory to the Father, by your gift of the Holy Spirit, by your coming again in glory. Spare your people, Lord, we pray. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you hear merciful to us sinners. By your grace, bless this font where children will be reborn. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you hear our Dear friends in Christ, let us ask God, the Almighty Father, to bless this font, that those reborn in it may be made one with his adopted children in Christ. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs, which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed over the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created humanity in your own likeness, Cleanse us from sin in a new birth of innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the waters of this one. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him 
to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may rise with him to a new life. Now that we have completed our Lenten observance, let us renew the promises we made in baptism when we rejected Satan and his works and promised to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church. And so, do you reject Satan I do. and all his works I do. and all his empty promises? I do. do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. God, the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and forgiven all our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Water of life, precious, brightest to my comfort, Jesus. Water of life, come to the water. Water of life, cleanse and refresh us. Praise us to life in Christ Jesus. Water of life, cleanse and refresh us. Praise us to life in Christ Jesus. Water of life, cleanse and refresh us, raise us to life in Christ Jesus. The risen Christ came and stood amongst his disciples and said, Peace be with you. And they rejoiced when they saw the Lord. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace.
spirit witness, we have this bond to our protection and and cross the spiritual journey. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of all my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. I accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may be the working of your power. Bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, O mighty and eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, Earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation 
Sing forever the hymn of your glory. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles Clement and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has commanded and taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. So we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. All Christian people who have been baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, and believe that Jesus is Lord, and have been admitted to Holy Communion are very welcome to receive communion at Mass today. There is one station which is here about the nave altar. If you are not baptised or have not been admitted to communion, but would like a personal blessing, please come forward making the sign of the cross with your arms like this, so that we know to bless you. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. Alleluia.
we pray together the post-communion prayer, which you will find on the final page, page 24 of your red Triduum booklet. Let us pray. Lord, you have nourished us with your Easter sacraments. Fill us with your spirit and make us one in peace and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to thank everybody who's been involved in what is always a long but very rewarding week of worship and coming close to God, and especially to those of you who spent between one and six hours in this church today to make sure that it looked like this, prepared and cleaned and dressed to celebrate Easter. And thank you also to all of you who have been involved with the sound and the taste and the look and the feel of our worship and our life together. I hope you agree that the church is looking wonderful and that the worship has been very good. I think you all deserve a round of applause. It wasn't a very loud round of applause. <clears throat> I know it's getting late. There is, of course, because today is now Easter. We mark the rising of our Lord from the tomb at night. Um, nibbles and bubbles and not bubbles, for those of you who don't like Prosecco, um, available after this Mass. The Lord be with you. And with you. Please stand. your heads and pray for God's blessing. May he who rose from the dead draw you to himself and bring you to the sublime and most beautiful heart of God. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you this day and always. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.